Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comments. I'll be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 350 videos so far on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people are not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I'll be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe, or maybe now you should consider doing so. Because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now I'll be sharing complete sections and widgets highly customizable to make a Shopify store very unique and professional without having to pay for those expensive teams or relying on those expensive developers, or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and it's not a very good idea of long-term projects. But I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, and I'll let you be the judge and I'll respect your decision. But for now, let me fulfill again one of the most requested videos, which is how to set the minimum order uh, amount rule uh, on your Shopify store so the user he needs to add more products to reach a certain amount that you will set then he can proceed to the checkout. The checkout will be locked in with a message, clear message in red or any color you want and it will tell him hey in order to open the checkout or qualify for the checkout you need to add this amount and the amount will be calculated automatically. So for example if you did set the minimum uh, amount minimum order amount rule will be like $100 and the order he did add or the product he did add is $50 it will show him hey add $50 more uh, then you can unlock the checkout and of course you can customize the amount and without any more talking let's just jump to it and by the way this video I will show you for both down team and horizon team because they require different steps no worries I will show you both of them as I said horizon team and down team and her, uh, the trick for horizon team will work for every other variants I mean the new teams that's been uh, released lately and the trick for down team will work for every other variance that was released with down which is refresh spotlight and sense and so on so no worries and without any more talking again for the second time this is jump to it as you can see this is down team and each video adds small customizations but video like 70 or 60 the team will be completely different and check out now for example this uh, reviews carousel that which are reviews from multiple sources google facebook amazon and etsy all in one place and it's filterable by tabs if i click on tabs it shows me only the reviews for that particular uh, platform or even better check out recent sales actually by using your own custom code no applications involved and it's highly customizable or i will show you actually something that will make you more money or actually make conversion rate uh, more better check out the this is the mouse cursor right i will act just like you want to leave or close the page and this thing will show up which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out and a button so he can check out so he can pay you the money he owes you obviously and this is by using your own custom code again and many many more if i scroll down there is many more things i can uh, i cannot even mention in one video and all of this by using your own custom code but as i said we will do the first trick on horizon so let me close this team actually and let me open up horizon team and you can see if uh, I already add the product to the, yeah, now I can proceed, says 25, I can proceed to check out. In here, it will lock to check out and it will show a message, yeah, add a certain amount more so you can unlock the checkout. So we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So the first thing you're going to do is obviously access Shopify dashboard. If you're already in Shopify dashboard, click on online store, then click on teams, then click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit code. And by the way, now I will start with Horizon, but this step right here, it's the same for both. So no worries. Then after that, it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And on the left panel right here, you see a bunch of folders at the bottom. Click on the one that says snippets, snippets folders. Simply click on it, then click on the new, uh, the first one, which is add a new snippet. And it will show you this prompt so you can name the snippet. And simply name it uh, on how dash min dash order. Just like you see on the screen, make sure to name it exactly this on how dash main dash order and click on done and after that we need to pass in the code here for the rule for the uh, the minimum uh, order amount rule that you want to set and to do that simply scroll down the description box and you will see a link my website completely free again i do provide things completely free guys i just appreciate if you hit that like button and leave me a comment i would really appreciate it and it will motivate me to, to share more free things with you guys because it takes time to write code and build and stuff anyway 
So scroll down after you access the website, scroll down and click on this button and it will download a zip file. A zip file that will contain the snippet that we will add, which is on how dash min dash order. And simply open that uh, the dot liquid file with any text editor on your computer. Let me open it so you can see. And it will look just like this, as you can see. Let me zoom in more so you can see. As you can see, this one, it says 100, which is exactly what it means. So this is actually the rule, the minimum rule. I will keep it as 100. As you saw, I already have a product, which is like $27. So the, the difference will be shown in a message. Hey, add this the difference to be uh, unlocked for the for, to be qualified for the checkout so in my case i'm going to keep it as as 100 make sure to change this to your the rule you want to set as i said in my case i'm going to keep it was 100 and after you change the rule that you want the amount that you want to set the minimum as simply control a it will select the whole code then copy it copy the whole code in here then get back to our code editor in here and simply paste it inside the snippet that was very simple then click on save button then get back to our website and scroll down in here and this is the instructions for down the first one is for down and the second one for horizon so on down you need uh, sorry so on down you need to find this folder main dash card dash items dot liquid but for horizon you need to find this one card.summary.liquid. Let's just do that for Horizon now. I'm gonna copy the name for it. Get back in here, use the search bar and paste it in here. And this is very important. You will find a similar file that says uh, underscore card-summary.liquid, which is a block. Do not access this one, access the snippet. The one inside the folder snippet. Simply click on it and bunch of code will show up. And inside this code, we'll need to find a particular section. Click on the code just like you want to write something. Again, on your keyboard, if you are using Windows, click on Control F, I'm on Mac. I'm going to click on Command F, and it will show me this prompt right here at the bottom of the page. And this one will help us find that particular section. Simply get back to my website and simply search for this one. I'm gonna select just the one between quotes, which is card dash CTS, this one. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna get back in here and paste it in the, uh, the, the prompt and hit enter and it will highlight the code as you can see. It will highlight it on the page for us. Then get back to my website and simply uh, copy the code, this one using this button, simply copy it, then get back in here and paste it above. Above the code that we did find, which is this one. In case there is no space, it was like this, simply click front of the last thing above uh, and before the thing that we did find, which is card underscore CTS, then hit enter on your keyboard here we go, we have a space in here and simply paste in the code, then get back to our website and click on save button first, then get back to our website. Let's just reload the page. Actually, let's just do that one more time to make sure the changes apply. Now, if I click on the card page in here, check it out. The checkout button is unlocked, I cannot, is blocked, I cannot click on it. And it says add $27 more to qualify for checkout because that's exactly the difference. I did set is $100, as you remember guys, I did set it as $100, and the difference between $27.99 and $100 is $27.01. Uh, uh, and once I add more product, let me actually add a product that's actually worth the price. I need more of these actually, let me add uh, another one and another one pink. Now I can qualify, as you can see, now it's unlocked because the amount is over the rule, which is $100, now it's $155. And to do that for down, same exact steps, but for another file, as you can see, and above another section on the code. If you get confused, if you're lost, just drop me a comment below, I will be help you out. But for now, that's how you set the minimum order amount rule on your Shopify store by using your own custom code and applications involved. And if you have any video requests, make sure to drop them below and I would be happy to make a video for you just like this one. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.